the native residents that would become known as the Monzo lived along the Rio Grande, then known as the Rio del Norte, when the Spaniards first arrived in the 1580s. When they arrived here, they, uh, they found some Indians, some natives in the river, fishing and all that. The people originally inhabiting what is now El Paso and Ciudad Juarez were known as Tampachoas. What I was told, you know, like from my grandfather and my father, they used to farm in the valley, but they know how to manage how to make the river change the flow. They used to make like islands, uh, blocking the, the flow of the river, making it change the flow to other parts and all that. And uh, that's why they were called tampachos. That the uh, tampacho comes from the, from the word tapanco, it's the blockers, they, they were the blockers of the river. Uh, that's, that's why they got that name, Tampachos, Tampachoas. These same people were called Manzo by Juan de Uñate in 1598. This is because they called out peaceful, peaceful, or Manzo, Manzo, when Uñate came through on his way to colonize New Mexico. They shouted out this phrase to indicate that they were not going to attack. Fray Benavides noted in the 1630s that when the natives met the Spaniards with hostility, the Spanish dogs had bitten them. When they came in peace, the Spaniards told the dogs to get out so they wouldn't bite them. Thereafter, the natives called out, get out, and peaceful, or manzo in Spanish. This is why they were called manzos. We don't know what the Monzo called themselves, but throughout history they were called Tambachoas, Monzos, Gorietas, and Llanos.